Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander, and I have a very good friend of mine here today for the second time, maybe third time. I don't know how many times you've been on the show. <laughs> this is Nathan, and I'm always going to crush his last name. Uh, ben Shadell. Did I get it right? No, Oops. no, you did not. It's okay, Ben. Tell me. <laughs> it's Ben Chattel. Ben so Chattel. Chattel. <laughs> yep, Chattel with a T. Ben Chattel. <laughs> okay. But it's I so complicated, say Nathan is best. Okay, I always say it really fast, so it's like if I screw it up, it doesn't matter, right? No, um, right. your name is all you're given in this life, and I always want to get it right, but I never do. So thank you for being so gracious with me. Um, Nate and I have been friends. We go way back. Um, first of all, we, the funniest story is about how we met and then how we got to end up working together. Um, of course, we joined a Amazon meetup at one point, and we had this crazy meeting with a bunch of different Amazon sellers, and that was great, and that's how we met. But then we had it, each other's information. I get this call one day from this Nathan guy, and he's like, hey, I don't know if you remember me. Uh, we met at this Amazon thing. I'm thinking of opening a prep center. Can I start with you? Can I prep your inventory? And I was like, get lost. <laughs> I mean, in a really nice way, that's kind of was like, um, yeah, I'll get back to you. Um, and I didn't get back to him and he got back to me. He is the definition of the squeaky wheel gets the grease. And finally, after a couple different phone calls and many emails, I was like, fine, I will talk to you. But then once we got on the phone and we got to talking, we realized we're basically brothers and sisters. Like we are cut from the same cloth. We are, I always say Nathan is like my work brother. Um, and uh, just realized we had a lot in common and a lot uh, to talk about and to do. And we we started that journey with this prep center. So um, that's just a little bit of our story here. Um, I met Nathan and then, of course, his wonderful wife and his now son, who is now working in this family business called My Prep Center. Um, but just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, you and getting to know you a little bit, Nate, and telling people how you got started even with Amazon, because we are OGs. We go Absolutely. way back in Amazon. Oh, yeah. When did you get started? Probably earlier than me. So yeah, I started selling on eBay in 1998 mm -hmm. and I started selling on Amazon in 2006. Um, I've actually been doing this for uh, what, 25 years now, which is insane to think. Uh, this was not on the list of approved jobs when I was in high school. So I don't know how it happened, but it just kind of did. Um, What's really cool, a funny story is PayPal reached out to me before they existed and they actually paid me to open a PayPal account. They paid me a hundred bucks, which was really cool back in 90, 1998 when I didn't have any money. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been doing this for a very, very long time. Um, the old eBay days, I used to just buy collections of stuff from people and just piece it out one at a time. I was willing to work harder than everybody else because everybody wants to do the quick thing. They can have it. I'll do the harder thing that takes a little bit longer, but I'll make a lot more money. Um, the Amazon stuff uh, started for me in 2006. I started selling used books primarily, sourced them wherever I could find them. I did not care. Um, and once again, willing to work way harder than everybody else. Um, and then just gradually, you know, transitioned over and opened the prep center in 2017 because my knees were tired of all of the books. They, they're heavy, really, really heavy. There's nothing heavier than a box of 50 pound books. I don't care what else you put in a box. That you know what? Pounds, books are I'm, heavier. I'm going to tell you though what we know is heavier than 50 pound books is working for someone else nine to five Monday through Friday. <laughs> yeah, what is absolutely. heavier than a box of books is somebody else controlling your financial future, your schedule, when you can work, when you can't work, when you, so your heavy box of books and y'all what he's so humble and not telling you, but he used to do it from the basement. So not only did he haul the books in, but then down, then scanning, then packing, then shipping, then back up. This was not an easy thing, but entrepreneurs are willing to work harder than most people because they see the light at the end of their tunnel. They see and, their freedom, right? Yeah, absolutely. So um, when I said I sell books, I didn't just sell a couple of books. Um, I was selling uh, probably between 10 and 12,000 books a month on average. Um, so I was, I mean, I was hustling and grinding and, and making this work. I would hop up, get up in the morning, hop in the car, drive to Cleveland, go to a book sale, come home, list the items, go to bed, wake up in the morning, go to Cincinnati. That is what I did. Um, and yeah, I did that. I lost my corporate job in 2006. Um, I worked for a company. They called me and, and let me know that they were down, downsizing. And I was extremely happy. Biggest smile on my face that I've had in years. My wife was terrified. <laughs> But I knew, I knew what I wanted and I knew it wasn't to be at the mercy of corporate America anymore. So I just decided we are going to go at this as hard as I possibly can. That's kind of how we got started. 
Yeah, 20, 2006. Yeah, you got a couple years on me. I started in 2003 on eBay and then, you know, Amazon in 2008. Kind of haven't looked back since either. Um, yeah. Really, yeah. because once you get a taste for earning your own money for yourself, you put in the work, but you also got all the paycheck. It yep. wasn't like you put in a lot of work and some corporate bigwig took all of the millions of dollars you helped them earn and then gave you a little tiny slice of it. That's what I loved about about realizing the e-commerce and whether it's eBay and you're flipping stuff one at a time or Amazon and you're doing things like wholesale bundles. Um, it's up to you, but then you get all of the benefit. That's what I like about that. Now, I want to jump into this. The, the title of this episode is The Decision That Doubled My Sales and Changed My Business. And that was the decision to say, you know what? We're going to let go of a little bit of control. Because I love telling the prep center story because my mom was like, absolutely not. Hands down. No one's touching our stuff because they're not going to do it the way we do it. Right. And you came over to our operation here at my home and you were like, I will learn your way if you teach me your way. And so that was the only way that my mother was going to be like, yes. OK, for you guys that don't know, my mom is my business partner. We've been business partners since 2014. Uh, she joined our business here. We started shopping together. Then we quickly moved into wholesale and wholesale bundling. And we've been doing that ever since. And mom was very, very she was the one prepping the inventory. So for her, that was her job that she was letting someone else do. And um, do you remember those initial conversations when my mom was, was quizzing you and showing you how we bundle? <laughs> but your mom is sitting there like this. She's like, so you want to do what for us? I'm like, no, <laughs> Susie, Susie, hold on, hold on. Put your guard down for a second. Let's talk. I'm, I'm actually not a bad guy. Let's figure out how to, how to make this work. So yes, I very well remember those conversations. And that's how we actually try to approach this. I understand the barrier that everybody's dealing with. You're asking somebody you don't know to take control of your inventory, which is what you use to make money to provide for your family. Um, yeah, no, that's scary. So, so what can I do to alleviate those concerns? How can I be here to help? Those concerns won't go away. I understand that. I don't expect them to go away. Uh, trust is earned over time, and I get that. But what can what is it that I can do to actually help you walk through that process? Because growth is hard, and we're here to help you make those steps. You, you just you, at some point you have to trust. Absolutely. And I think that's a pivotal part of growing businesses. And I know you and I have both uh, simultaneously grew our businesses kind of as brothers and sisters on, side by side and saw the different changes, saw the trust that we had to have, not only in each other to be able to have somebody prep your inventory. It's, it's not quite like sending your baby off to college, but kind of you're sending your inventory, something that you've worked hard to curate, especially for our wholesale bundlers. Our bundlers have curated these products. There's probably yeah. something a lot of giftable items and they say mm -hmm. well how do i know that the prep center is going to prep it the way that it's not going to get messed up and i there's this one fancy word i love to use with them every time it's called communication mm -hmm. <laughs> this is how yeah. we know they will bundle it you can send them a video and say this is how i bundle it at home can you guys handle that um i i just i love how we have all kind of evolved together with the prep center and been able to take that off i want to talk about that because although it's something you're letting go of my experience was doubling my sales within three to six months of using a prep center what yeah. it freed up was my time i mean you saw the operation here i wish i could have i wish i had a few more pictures i could kind of show people the archives of how we were working i mean we literally opened a wall to a second room in our home so that we could have somewhat of a warehouse um, because we were successful but the, the the thing about success is that if you always do what you always did you always get what you always got and we were to the point where we were maxed out. We could not receive another pallet. We had stuff in the prep room. We had stuff in the garage. We had stuff on the front lawn because yeah. we didn't have a place to put it. Growth is great, but if you don't harness it in a certain way, it will take over you and you will crumble. Um, and that's where we were faced with. We were like, we can't grow one more inch. What do we do? We outsourced the prep. And what we noticed within the first couple of months was like, wow, all that time, two, three, four, five, six hour days, two or three times a week prepping inventory, we now could focus on creating and curating and doing product research. And that's the money making task. So within three to six months, we were doubling our sales because we had so much time to be able to focus on what was actually making money. I hate to say this, and I know you're a prep center, but 
shipping products for an Amazon FBA seller does not make you money. What makes you money is selling profitable products. You can't sell products that aren't there. You can't get them there without prepping them. The problem is the, the, the finding of the inventory is makes you the most money. Getting it to the shelf can be outsourced. And that's what you guys do. Now, working with a lot of, you know, obviously lots and lots of FBA sellers, um, what, do you, what are the biggest um, hangups people really have before investing in, in working with you guys? The number one thing people is people, they, they don't, they inherently just don't believe that we're going to actually communicate with them and help them. Um, there's a lot of prep centers in this business that, that like don't actually communicate with their people. They, they bring them on board and then they don't do what they say they're going to do. They don't get them out in 24 to 48 hours or they don't respond to emails or whatever. Um, so explaining to people that literally I do answer my phone, I was going to grab my cell phone, but our 800 number, which shameless plug, 888-483-5879, um, rolls directly to my personal cell phone, which is literally in my hand. Um, I get calls on that and I'll answer the phone. Hi, this is Nathan. And, and like, you then have my personal cell phone number, which I keep on me literally all the time. I took the call the other day at 1130 at night because that's when the client actually had a chance to call me. I'm just sitting there watching TV. Everybody else is asleep. I answered the phone. Why not? Um, I, I re we respond to text messages. You know, we do Facebook messages. It's like, if you look at uh, our, like our website reviews, you'll see that people, um, communication is one of our strongest suits. We actually talk to people. And that's something that is hard to believe because in today's online world, when you can't get a response from anybody or you can only email people, they don't respond or they don't respond timely. Like we, we want to talk to you. That's how we help is communication. That's what we need. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that, you know, when people are gun shy because maybe they've worked with another prep center, I've, I've heard some horror stories. I'm sure you have too. When people call you and say, I got screwed over by so-and-so over here or companies that just go out of business and your inventory is uh, missing in action and you have no idea where it is. So of course there's bad players out there, just like there's bad players on Amazon. Um, but, you know, sifting through, you know, trusting your gut and actually just looking at the services that are provided. Um, so let's talk a little bit about that. So for those that have never really, I mean, if you're listening to this podcast, you've heard of a prep center a million times because I'm always talking about it. And I'm always talking about you guys and how people need that. Um, but for those that are very new or just kind of like, okay, tell me again what the prep center can do for me. Absolutely. So one of the things that's what I would call my spiel, this is a conversation I have with every single person that calls us. Um, basically, I let everybody know that when they come on board as our client, they have three responsibilities or three jobs to do. And if I don't list it in these jobs, then that means that the prep center takes care of it for you. Um, the very first thing is I don't tell you what to buy. I can't tell you what to buy. It. Client, con client confidentiality prevents me from giving you a list of what to buy. I can't do that. Um, the second thing is I have a Google sheet that you fill out. Like you tell me what you ultimately ended up buying and you give me all the details, you know, whatever I need to actually be able to create the shipment for you through Amazon or inventory lab, whichever you prefer. And then the third thing is you pay the invoice. Um, that's it. That's literally all I need from you is I need you to tell me what you bought and pay me. And we handle everything else. We do all of the prepping. We do all of the listing and inventory lab, the details, like the buy cost, the sell cost, the vendors, all that stuff, because, um, there's no reason for you to have to go back and re-enter data. The whole reason you're using a prep center is to make your life easier, not to actually go in and double check what we did. Naturally, you're going to do that because we haven't earned your trust yet. But once you've been with us for a little while, you realize that we're actually doing it right. Um, we're human. We do make mistakes. Naturally, we all do. Um, but we do everything we can to not do that. And I've been doing this a long time and our people have been trained. So, you know, we do our best to make not let that happen. Um, but basically, again, you, you buy it, you tell us what you bought and you pay the invoice and we literally handle everything else from inspection to prepping to, to everything. And we're constantly up on Amazon's ever changing policies. So I'm going to get real selfish here and talk about wholesale bundles and how you guys handle bundles. Why? Because I just believe you guys are the best bundle prep center that there is. Number one, I haven't tried anyone else full transparency because why? Because I don't need to. Y'all, I've been with my prep center since they opened their doors and I can count on one hand how many problems I have. And that's been many years. What, you've been open seven years? Six? Uh, yeah, 2017. We started in July of 2017 with our first customer. Yes, I was I was one of the first customers there. And let me tell you guys, four problems in that many years. That's less than one per year that we ever had any issues. And they were instantaneously solved. 
You guys, that's something that you really have to think about. Mistakes are made, of course, like we're, not, we're all human, right? But when something's handled instantly, when something's handled like, yes, we are on it. Um, customer service is everything. But when it comes to your inventory prepping now, I'm going to talk about a couple of bundle questions here because I know you guys have strived to make bundling affordable for prep centers. Number one, it is complicated, right? We're sending you, you know, two, three, four products from a couple of different vendors and putting them together and custom packaging. You know, this yeah. is, you know what I teach, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And so uh, let's talk about the custom packaging, for instance, because I know a lot of my clients have asked that for me personally, they'll say, oh, I, I want to use a prep center, but what about my custom packaging? Are they going to store it there? I have to buy 500 boxes. And what do I do with these? And how does that work? So can you guys answer that for me as far as how, how to handle people's custom or private label or even storage? Yeah, absolutely. Um, that, that is the nature of the bundle game. You know, I mean, the reference that we used to make back in the day, Kristen, was the hot dogs and the buns. You know, you buy eight uh, and 10. That's just how they come. And you, what do you do with the other two? I mean, you, you'll never buy in quantities of, you know, 80 because it just doesn't work. So what do you do with those ones that sit around? So absolutely, we hold on to those. Um, that has not ever been a problem. Um, we have a storage system set up at our place. Um, if it's just a handful of units here and there, we don't charge storage fees. I'm not looking to make money off of, uh, you know, your tub of, of two items. That, that's just not how it works, right? Um, I'd rather prep them and get them out the door. Um, but so we absolutely will handle the storage of the items. Once we start getting into, you know, where maybe you ordered, you know, a pallet of something and you're missing, I'm going to use an example. Um, let's see, you do calendars and notepads, just as an example. Um, and you ordered 600 calendars and 600 notepads, and you got 600 calendars and 300 notepads because the notepads are back order because that's the world we live in today. We'll do everything we can. We'll ship those 300 with no problems, but then the 300 calendars we have to hold. We will absolutely hold those for you for no problem. Now, if you tell me four months from now is when they're expected to be here, I'm like, uh, okay, we'll make that work. I got to put them on a pallet. I got to put them on, in the warehouse. And so there may be a storage fee associated with that. Maybe as, as much as $40 per month is the highest we charge for a pallet, uh, and that will kind of depend. But we, we work through. Again, we communicate with you about your business. If you call me and we set this up and you're like, hey, listen, I, I, I'm doing this and the profit margin on this is razor thin and my, my, my shipper, you know, they, they're coming, but it's going to be a couple of weeks, whatever. I don't want your 40 bucks. I want your stuff out of my warehouse just like you do. <laughs> we both get paid when I ship. That's how it works. Your stuff becomes available for sale. So let's get it to Amazon so you can actually make the money from it because you're not making any money with sits in my warehouse. Right. So I don't want your 40 bucks. What I want more is to be able to ship your products so they can sell so you can buy more and send them to me. That's how this works. <laughs> I love the transparency here because honestly, let's just be real. You know, as you guys know, I'm as transparent as they get. We're here to make money. You guys are a service provider. You don't get paid until you provide a service. We don't get paid until we sell an item. We all work together to all, you know, the rising tide raises all the ships. If, if you're bringing in more business, uh, you know, they're, they're making more money, more units that you're sending in. So we're not, you're not in the storage business though. We're moving inventory um, as much as we can, but um, you know, if you're on day, you know, 42, it's not like you're going to get some big fat bill, but there's just about, remember that magic word we talked about earlier, communication. That's all we really need when it comes to business and working with our suppliers, our vendors, our service providers, when it comes to that. Well, y'all, we don't just have Nate on here for no reason, because number one, it is my favorite prep center. No matter where you live, your shipping and receiving is nationwide and or global you've received stuff from me from china and india and other places Ooh, um but also uh local as well some people are like well where are you located a lot of people talk about the ones that are in california because there's a lot of you know west coast shipment that goes on i have found that the pricing has more than made up for uh having to ship things multiple warehouses and i know you guys are so well versed in the amazon system as far as case packs and, and how and when to split up the ship so that they're going to proper places. Can you touch a little bit on, on the process that happens there so that it saves the client money? Yeah, absolutely. We try not to, um, we really want to ship enough that makes it worthwhile. Um, you know, I don't want to say this in words that your, your shipping is, it's an expense that's obviously, give me a second, edit this out. <laughs> um, 
or don't, that's up to you. So shipping is an expense that obviously Amazon has control over, right? So, you know, when we put in the dimensions of the box and we actually send that over to Amazon, Amazon tells us where to ship it. Generally speaking, now these numbers change. Sometimes it's as low as 12, sometimes as high as 24, but right now it seems to be about 18. If I ship in 18 of these same unit, generally speaking, they go to the same warehouse. Um, and the warehouse we currently today ship to more often than not is in D9, um, which is, you know, a travel day away. It's, it's fairly close. Um, it changes a little bit for hazmat or oversized things, but most of what we do is going to be the, the standard size units. So what we don't want to do is we don't want to ship in, you know, four and six and, and 10 of something because then it's going to split to three different warehouses and your profit's going to be eaten up and shipping costs paid to UPS or paid to Amazon. Um, so we try to make it worthwhile. We want you to do at least you know, probably 18 is the right number today. Does that answer yeah. what you were looking for? Yeah. And the fact that, like, I know that sometimes things don't come case packed, but occasionally you can case pack something that's that you can create your own case pack if you need Absolutely. to and, ha and and do that so that it's not. So say, you know, 10 is under that 18 uh, unit number that they send in. Um, if you have 10 of something and you have, you know, it, even just one case pack of that instead of splitting it to yeah, multiple yeah, yeah, warehouses. Yeah. Now, you can I, case now pack I understand. It. Now I understand what you're asking. Sorry, I wasn't trying to talk over you, but now I understand. So absolutely. Um, a case cap, a case pack could be anything up to, I think it's 200, maybe 250 units. Um, I don't remember exactly. We don't do a lot of case packs that big because you start getting into weight limits. Like the weight limit of a box is 50 pounds. Internally for us, the prep center, it's 45 because we don't ever want you to get some hidden fee from Amazon for going over the weight limit. So 45 pounds is our max. Most of the time, you know, some of the ways a half a pound or whatever, you're going to be able to get, you know, 90, maybe 100 of them in a box. So I don't know the exact limit off the top of my head. Uh, but generally speaking, if, if you have 100 of the same thing, we are going to case pack those. So they will all go to one warehouse. There's no reason to do them as individual units. Well, Amazon will then split them up and potentially split them up into three. So yeah, absolutely, that is something we can do. A case pack, we all have this, this idea in our head that it has to be from the vendor that way. Mm. That we're the vendor. Mm -hmm. So they can send me four boxes of 20, no problem. And if Amazon will allow it based on weight and size, then I can send in one box of 80 and that is your new case pack. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely something that we do. There's no reason for to send four boxes at about 11 bucks each, which is our historical average of cost. Um, that's $44. Why do that when I can do it in one for 11 bucks? That saves you 33 bucks. And you know that might be doubling or potentially more than that of your profit. Absolutely. See, guys, that is just profit talking. This is not something the Prep Center has to do. It's what they do because they actually care about their customers and they want to save you money. So they will put something into a case pack without asking you because they know it's going to save you $35 or whatever it is. Um, that's obviously the still reason that we we are constantly sending our inventory to you guys um but yeah. and you guys no matter what like i want you to use my prep center of course number one because their team is fantastic they're just um fantastic people as a matter of fact just the other day uh, i heard that you guys onboarded another client that's a client of mine um who's had nothing but amazing things to say uh, about you and noah and everyone at the team there she can't wait to be you know continue sending products to you guys because she just started her amazon business and she doesn't want to ship and prep anything ever <laughs> so she wants to be remote and that's always what i'm telling people if you want to have the freedom of a remote operation um using a prep center is really one of the only ways that you can do that um i never you know me i never wanted to have a warehouse and employees and all that stuff i'm like what is the easiest thing to outsource it's the cardboard the tape the shipping and yeah. what i always say to some people is there's people that love to do what you hate there are accountants in this world which i hate doing accounting so i'm so glad for them or lawyers or <laughs> i don't know jobs that i would never want like climbing up six six hundred feet and fixing cell phone towers i just a lady nope. and th okay. th that does that and i'm just like and no <laughs> so there's people that like to do the shipping and receiving and uh they're happy to take you guys on as clients so let's talk about real quickly your summer special because i know right now we're just gonna just put it out there it's gonna be june of 2023 this is a okay. limited time offer so if you hear this offer any other time and it's not june of 2023 um then you probably missed out and you still can call my, my prep center but they are doing an amazing I'm, they've never done this before so i'm just like oh my gosh this is the time uh tell us about your your quick flash sale that you've got going on for the summer yeah so it's going to be based on response let's just be very very clear on that i cannot open this up to every single person for all of eternity all right so 
Um, I don't have a limited number of clients, but I do have a limited amount of time that I'm going to be able to offer this for. So, um, but I, I, I'm trying to draw some new business in. We all live in the real world. We all know what is happening in today's economy, and we're not um, we're not immune from that. Um, you know, everybody is. You know, one of Kristen's favorite saying is the struggle is real, and <laughs> it is real. Um, but uh, I say all of that. The number one thing I want to tell everybody is um, don't be afraid. Don't live in fear. That's not a good place to live. Um, the world is a very, very large place. And there are lots of people, no matter what the economy looks like, that want to buy your products. That's the number one thing. Um, I'm not going anywhere. Our business is not going anywhere. This is not the first storm that we've ever, ever weathered. There will be another one after this one is gone. And we know that. Um, so we're here to help everybody get through this together. Okay. Um, so the current deal that we're offering right now is... Um, Number one is we just lowered our prices on our website. Uh, what we used to be was all inclusive, $1.25 and $3 per bundle, uh, $1.25 per individual unit. Those are no longer valid prices. We have actually just dropped our prices. I'm going to let you check the website for that. Again, it's myprepcenter.com. Um, take a look at that. But the current special is what you see advertised on the website, you can take 25% off of that price. And that includes the onboarding fee of $99. So that would become a $75 fee. And then the units will be, um, you know, whatever the level of client that you are, whether it be bronze, silver, gold, or platinum, uh, depending on the number of units that you send us. So 25% discount for the next, what is it, three months, June, July, and August, um, just to help everybody get through this together, uh, get you set up for Q4, get your orders placed, and get you, get you going, and I'll help you see some success. I appreciate that. And it's very generous for you guys to be lowering your prices in this economy when everyone else is raising their prices. But the reality is we are in this together. And as everyone else is raising fees, we are just doing what it takes to be able to help people to um, get off the ground, to get moving faster. Because honestly, um, paying your prep center fees, that's the best, the best check I write every single, I say check, I write. <laughs> Do it, anybody writes checks, the digital payment that comes from my account every month, my oh, favorite Christian. one. I'm sorry. How old were you again? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Told you guys he was my brother. Um, honestly. So when it comes to that, though, I, I, this is just my honest feedback. I was able to double my sales taking on a prep center for those who's never had one and then moves to one you just there's something you just don't go back to it's like oh i'm like could i imagine when times are hard i'm like i don't want to go back to doing that so what else can i do instead i need to sell more product i look for a pro more profitable product to sell rather than thinking about can i cut out my prep center i'm like no i absolutely can't um just the re oh, okay i want to talk real quickly about your onboarding fee you mentioned an onboarding fee and i know you know off off the record you and i have talked about this but on the record we will talk about it and why it's in place and it's important first of all i am going to bet for you hearing this because time is money and i've heard um you can tell your own story here but i also have heard like people come and they want to talk and they want to you know tell you they're going to send up some stuff and you give them all the setup stuff and then you hear crickets and that is your time and your team's energy that you might be wasting on that. So talk a little bit about the onboarding fee, what it purpose is, and, and how it's used in, in your business. Yeah, so this was something that I, I have really, really, really struggled with. In fact, I'm going to be brutally honest. I'm not even a fan of this. It's not something that I necessarily want to do. Um, but we all have to do things we don't want to do in life. And this is one of those things. Um, what happens is we make communication be a real thing. Uh, so we make ourselves available. When I answer the phone at 1130 at night and talk to somebody for 15, 20 minutes, then they tell me that they're going to bring everything on and we're ready to go. So we then get them on the phone again and we set them up and we go through the spreadsheet and we answer all their questions. And, you know, we've spent an hour talking to them, you know, learning about their business, explaining who we are and doing, you know, building that relationship to gain their trust. And then ultimately they never send us anything. And that is not a, um, that is not, that is a real situation. I would say prior to the setup fee that there have been about 30%, 40% of clients who never, never sent us a single product. Um, and so I'm spending an hour and a half minimum talking to people and, and getting nothing in return for it. Um, that's, that's just, I like talking to people. You might be able to tell, you know, I, I kind of enjoy it. Um, but at the end of the day, it takes me away from other things. And my business has grown to the point now where I can't just sit and talk to somebody for a couple of hours and then never get any business from it. I need to see some fruit. I got employees to pay. I got a warehouse that I'm paying for. So 
Right, right. And, you know, I love that we're talking about that because the struggle is real. And if you've ever talked to an attorney, <laughs> they give you their card and they say, I'd love to answer that question for you in an appointment. And then they give you an appointment calendar and they have to come and you have to pay their fee for their hourly rate. Why? Because everybody's got a question for a lawyer. And if they sat down with everybody and talked for 15 or 20 minutes, hey, can I pick your brain over coffee? Um, although that's respectable and we always want to be a mentor, we want to be helping people at the same time, we all have bills to pay. And we, we you know, if a lawyer was constantly doing free meetings all the time, they'd never get paid for their services. And so yeah. we have to respect people's time and energy and know, hey, if you're serious and you want to open an account with us and have us prep your inventory, then you have to put your money where your mouth is and it's not a lot of money it's an investment into your future account you're serious you can of course have a conversation with my prep center for free and chit chat about specifics to your business um, but limiting it to 15 minutes so that people can move on and decide either a you're going to go with us or you're not <laughs> and, and yeah. you're moving your business forward so actually i appreciate you guys offering that because it does give you guys the boundary that you need to deal with clients that are serious only and you know, you'll, you'll see, I'll actually, again, I'll direct people to the website. If you go to the myprepcenter.com, there are two links down there in the, right in the contact section. One is schedule a free 15 minute consultation. You'll call, you'll talk to me. Um, I'm the one that takes that phone call every single time. And I will ask you a bunch of questions. I will answer all of the questions that you have. And I will tell you, uh, you now have all the information you need if you're ready to make a decision or not. And if you are, then the next step is the next link over, you just pay the $99. You'll talk to Noah. He'll walk you through the setup. And you know, you'll be ready to send to us. That is still there. And if you just call me on your own without setting up the meeting, that's fine. I will still talk to you. I may cut it short to 15 minutes, but I will still talk to you. We definitely are here to help. I mean, everybody has questions. We're we're asking for your trust. Uh that that's again, that's earned. I'm not just gonna be like, hey, yeah, send me stuff because mm -hmm. I met with Kristen and therefore you can trust me. I mean, I, I wish it was that way, but it's not. Right. But it does help when you have a layer of someone else who you trust that's saying, hey, you go, go with these guys. They've been really good to us. Um, but I love that fact there. And again, our pretty link is mommyincome.com forward slash my prep center. If you go that way, that you will instantly receive your 25% off of that onboarding fee, um, which is going to go to the future of prepping your inventory. It shows that you're serious, that you want to take the next step in your business. I can promise you, you will never regret using a prep center. If you have been prepping your inventory yourself and you start using a, a, a prep center <laughs> zero percent have i ever regretted um taking the cardboard and tape and the receiving and the pallets and the bundling out of here and <laughs> into your warehouse um yeah. is actually my, one of my favorite things is that i don't oh, yeah. have to do that <laughs> a lot of people don't even realize how much time they actually spend doing that because you know they they're, they're doing it at their kitchen table so they got to go out to their garage or to their bedroom and, and grab all the stuff and then set it up on the table and then do all the work and then put it all away and then load the car we're just set up to do all that stuff we you know you, you can get rid of that stuff or put it in the you know put it away because someday you may need it and then eventually throw it away <laughs> Were yeah, you, were, were we still doing business with you? Oh, that was pre prep center when we did the candies in the, the five pound, the 40 pound boxes of candies. You don't remember no, that. We, yeah. no, I do that not was pre prep that. center. <laughs> we've done those. Uh, yeah, no, we've done those. Okay. Um, so years ago, Amazon had a rule. Their rules have changed, which is why we dropped the product. So now I can talk about it. Right. Cause it's just not some secret sauce. I don't know. But, but years ago we worked with this company that sold bulk candy. Okay. Mm -hmm. But they sold it in these big boxes and you could either like, you know, you've been to Cracker Barrel and they have like, you know, circus peanuts and stuff, but they have their own private label on it. It's a white label. It's mm -hmm. Cracker Barrel or whatever relabeled. It was a similar concept, except for it wasn't branded. It was just like, people didn't want to buy five pounds or just like a two ounces of this so like the three pound bags of candy is what we sold and we sold pretty well but we had to take 45 pound boxes put them on the scale and re and, and like scoop them in until we had three pounds of candy in there and they were heavy and they were back breaking and the truck couldn't get down my driveway so we had to back ben's truck all the way up to this semi for them to unload this pallet of 
40 pound boxes of candy times a pallet into Ben's truck, then unload it. It was such a nightmare. I was like, why do we do this? But then it was like, but we made so much money. We make, we make money. That's why we do it. Right. So, uh, so yeah, I, we, I don't ever want to do 45 pound boxes of candies and, and, and pallet, like opening up pallets when it rain or shine, like when the pallet, it comes, it comes. And yeah, in Michigan, no, you don't get to send when, them away. They, yeah. you, you take it because it's yes. up, right? Yeah. So I um, just, I think about stories like that and I just think never, ever again, do I want to consider doing that on my own and opening pallets. I mean, you do what you got to do when you're making things work, but when you're growing your business, you have to decide what's the most important money-making tasks as CEOs that we need to spend money on. And for us, that is, is prepping so that we can buy profitable inventory and create profitable bundles instead of packing and shipping. Absolutely. One of the things that, um, you know, listen, we, one of the things is you should be focusing on things that only you can do. Um, there's certain things in your business that only you can do. And that's where your energy should be. If you can find somebody else to help you do it, then you need to at least look into that if it's still profitable or not. And if it's not profitable, well, maybe you shouldn't even be doing it to begin with, but I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> You did. That's called tough love. And it's totally fine and appropriate here because everyone here is used to my hug and my slug, right? I'm like, I'm going to hug you, but psh, you know, yeah. you get the yeah. one too. Um, so here, mommyincome.com forward slash my prep center. That's taking you right to the onboarding. You guys know that. Check out their their website. Go to Nathan. Uh, call him. They will take good care of you there. I appreciate your time today. I know you could be anywhere else doing any other thing. I don't take that for granted. Thanks for being on the Amazon Files podcast. You guys, the time to double your sales and change your business forever is right now. You need a prep center as soon as possible. Mommyincome.com forward slash my prep center, or just go to myprepcenter.com. Call Nathan, give him a chance. You guys, we'll see you same time, same place next week on the Amazon Files. Thanks, Nate, for being here. Appreciate you. Thanks. Talk to you soon.